on our way to my niece's birthday party. We got some special guests back here. We got oh, hello, everybody. Hi. My um, little sisters. I'm Eliana. I'm subscribe to my channel. Yeah, if anybody didn't know, she has a YouTube channel. She does makeup and makeup tutorials. You do makeup tutorials? Um, I've not, yeah, most of the time. I usually do like get ready with me's. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out my life. I'm, I'm in it. She was in one video. A lot of people really liked that one. What's your Instagram? My name. <laughs> E-E-L-I-I-A-N-A-A. -A -A. It'll be somewhere right here around this area. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, follow her. <laughs> Get ready, y'all. I'm gonna uh, vlog the the birthday over that John Jacobo pizza. Stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? It's Arlen. I'm here back with another video, another tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy this one. So the cut is a low ball fade with the sideburns. Stay tuned. So I have uh, my comb and I'm just brushing or combing the hair. Um, it's always good to comb it before you cut the hair because that way you can get the understanding of the hair pattern and also it, it lays it down so it doesn't look all messy and all the guidelines look all messy when you do it so it just makes it all smooth and laid down I uh, I have my uh, one and a half guard and I'm going with the grain with my cordless seniors um, the, the trick of going with the grain is, uh, first, of course, you have to go with the grain. Make sure you, like I said in the beginning, comb the hair so you get the understanding of the hair pattern. And also, go smooth strokes, you know? Just go smooth strokes. You don't got to go fast. Just make sure that the blade is flat and is smooth, just slowly. Because you want to get as much as you can get. All the hair, you want it to all lay down perfectly. So, just do it like how I always say, smooth motions. So on this part, I have my uh, cordless uh, Slimline Pros, uh, the gold ones. Uh, I, I like using these for, to ball it out because, I mean, they cut through thick hair. They cut through hair nice. Um, but as you can see, I'm kind of arching the uh, bald line so I can kind of give it that drop fade look. Um, I'm going to keep the sideburns, so you're going to see in a second that I'm not going to be trimming off the sideburns because my client, he wants uh, ice picks, well, a low ball fade with ice picks. So, yeah, um, it's best if, you, if somebody wants ice picks to, to drop it low, you know, and um, then at the end you'll fade out the what you didn't ball it out. So uh, I have my wall balders. And I'm only doing the voiceover for this because uh, somebody in my comments asked me, how do you take out the bottom line or the ball line when you make with the boulders? So in a second, you're going to see me going down, down to take out the, the line right underneath the ball line. Um, my philosophy is up to make, down to take. If you don't know what that means, it's up to make a line and down to take out a line. So up to make, down to take. <laughs> So I'm gonna be using my my Oster fast feeds on this one. I uh, I have the lever all the way open, and I'm just gonna make the guideline about half an inch, uh, like in all my videos, half an inch. Um, I'm using the fast feeds because I've been using them a lot lately, and they've been kind of nice for me. I haven't used them since like barber school because I kind of had like a like a disagreement on the fast feeds were good, but I've been using them lately, and they've been pretty nice. They make like a little like a, a smooth shadowy look and that's the kind of the, the the way I like to blend I want it to look kind of blurry but shadowy even if it's a bald fade so uh, yeah here uh, about half an inch for your ball uh, night ball line your uh, first guy line so to take out the ball line that we made with the balders you're gonna close the lever and as you can see in a little bit that I'm gonna be going at it with my corners it's best to go out with corners because so that way you don't make any hard lines with your uh, 
with your clippers and also um so as you can see it's taking out the line and once it lightens up you go halfway and when you go halfway it's gonna lighten up and then there on you play with your levers because that way it'll give it that blurry look so you go close and halfway then from there on just play with your levers but do not go past the um that open lever because you know that open lever do not go past that because you're gonna keep bringing up the fade higher and higher and you don't want to do that if you want to do a low fade you kind of want to keep it as low as possible so I have my one guard my purple one guard that you use either for the fast speeds or the masters so what I'm doing is I'm doing it about a half an inch again um, I uh, I'm not really digging in I'm just flicking out as you can see it's not really gonna make a hard line above because you don't really want to make hard lines especially when you're fading your tapering because if you make a hard line it's gonna be hard to take out so that way if you just flick out it'll still be light but it'll still kind of not be a hard line above you know what I'm saying so uh, make the uh, the guy line about half an inch to an inch long and um, you should be good so for the next step I have my zero guard so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it and I'm that line that you see right there I'm just gonna flick out I'm doing flick 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 it's best to do that with fast speeds because um, Fast speeds, they, they cut really fast, <laughs> as you can see, fast speeds, but they cut, like, a lot of, like, chunks. And so if you just do it close and then you just flick, 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 it'll take out that bottom line. And then from there on, you can do halfway, open, just play with the levers. Um, so as you can see, it took it out, but it didn't completely take it out. It's, there's still dark spots, but then that's when you clean it up with, like, the halfway and open and everything. So, um, so for that bottom, that first part, just flick out and then play with the lever from there on. Just like how I did from the uh, bottom line. So for this step, I have my, uh, I'm gonna be doing my one open and I'm just gonna go with the grain just to take out the bulk right there. Um, Cause you guys know in the beginning I did a one and a half with the grain, so I'm just doing a one with the grain just to take out bulk, so I can see um, what it'll do, like if it'll lighten up a lot or lighten up not so much. So it kind of did lighten it up. It took off some bulk, but um, this is just to see what uh, what I have to do next, like what guard I have to do next. But yeah, so I have to do a two guard. Um, try not to go too high. Um, the two guard you can see is lightening up a little bit um, you just go with the corners go with the corners a lot because you do not want to go high um, a, a two um, it still keeps it dark it isn't it's not gonna make it light at all it'll make it like kind of light tis dark you know um, but it, uh, a two is never really it, only if somebody has really 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 thin hair but a two is not gonna make it light it, it still keep it kind of dark but kind of light if you know what I'm saying I don't know if I'm making sense but yeah, a two, a two will still keep it dark. So over here, I'm just doing some cleanup work. Uh, I have my one guard. So I'm just doing it with the corners, just clean up every dark spot I see. Um, I'm not really trying to make any guidelines or hard lines, so I'm just using the corners just to clean up the little dark spots I see from previously that the two guard did not hit. So uh, it's always best to do your cleanup work. Um, I'm doing a one because uh, he does have a one and a half on top, and uh, that was the area that I did my one guard or my one open guard uh, guideline. So yeah, just do uh, a one corner.
time for the lineup. Um, as you can see, his uh, hairline is kind of natural and it's straight naturally. So all I'm doing is I'm just following the natural uh, hairline. Um, but I am starting from the middle and then working my way to the sides because, like I say in all my videos, start in the middle to keep the base. You get that base and then you work your way to the side. So that way when you meet up in the middle, it'll all be straight. I know it gets repetitive saying this stuff. Um, I know you, you guys might not want to hear this, but it is the truth. You start from the middle, work your way to the sides, work your way back. And it'll just all come together. So, yeah. So on this, I'm gonna be using topics for my client's hair. Um, I do use paint, but sometimes it doesn't really sit well, so I'm just gonna use topics. Um, I'm not really too great at topics because uh, I hardly ever use it. But what you want to do is you want to get the hairline, and then what I suggest is if you get a comb or a brush, I suggest a comb so you can blend it into the hair. So that way. Um, it doesn't look too dark in that area. Um, the camera got kind of out of focus right here, but um, as you as you guys know that I don't know if you guys use topics, but just put it on the hairline and then line it up and then see how how it looks. If it's too dark in one spot, then just blend it in with a comb. <laughs> So I'm going over my client's hair with some shears just to get the hairs that are sticking up. It always is good to use either shears or you can use your clipper or a liner, but I suggest a shear just to be uh, safe and um, it'll give it that more of that, that finishing touch. Yo, so I hope you guys liked this video. Um, sorry for my little mess right there. I slept on the couch last night. It's not because I was in trouble. I just like sleeping on this couch. <laughs> so I hope you guys like this video. I do enjoy doing these videos for you guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's fun to do and um, I hope you guys learned a lot from it. But please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube. And also, if you can follow me on Instagram, my uh, Instagram would probably be somewhere on the screen i don't know where i'm gonna put it yet but hope you guys like this video don't forget please and also turn the post notifications on i really appreciate that and uh yeah stay tuned y'all